So what is going on guys, Alan here. So today I'll be showing you the easiest way to do an in-screen transition in Adobe Premiere Pro, kind of like these clips. So for this first clip, I'm going into the TV. For this next clip, I'm going into the laptop. And the final clip, I'm going into the cell phone. So the very first step is to get your cell phone then go to youtube.com or go to the YouTube app in your phone. Then search for green screen. Then look for a 10 hour green screen video and it looks like this. Hopefully it's in focus and create a screenshot. Let's see if I can do this in camera. Create a screenshot. So that way it will always be in your camera just in case you don't have Wi-Fi and or mobile. So step number two is the filming. So now that we have the green screen in the camera screen, just grab your camera of choice and all you have to do is do a push and shot. I'll do a demonstration right here. Okay, so let's pretend that someone is holding the phone and let's pretend that this side over here is the Philippines. So the first shot is a push-in shot. Okay, so a quick tip is make sure you go directly into the cell phone screen of the cell phone. So that way you don't see any of the borders of the cell phone. For the second clip, it could literally be anything, but for a more seamless transition, it would look better if the second clip is also going straight. So the first clip, you're going straight, and the second clip, you're also going straight. So for a seamless, nice transition. So this is the first clip, and this is the second clip. So let's start out this quick transition tutorial. So the first thing you do is get the second clip and put it under the first clip. After that, go to effects and type in ultra key. Drag ultra key to the top clip, which is pretty much the green screen clip. Then go to effects control and scroll down until you see ultra key. From the setting, go to aggressive, then click on the eyedropper tool, then click on the green screen right over here. Then right away, you're gonna see the bottom clip and let's play it just to see. And as you can see, that's not too bad. That's pretty much the transition, but let's do a little bit of cleaning. So especially around the end of the clip. Right over here, it's not so clean, this frame, but the next frame, it's uh, clean. So the top layer is not so clean, but the bottom layer is uh, clean. So let's fix it. So let's click the top layer and go back to Ultra Key. And let's play around with matte generation and matte cleanup. So each of the settings does something a little bit different. So all I do is just try to make the video look as clean as possible. For example, over here, I'm trying to take out the, gr the gray-ish area in the video. So let's bring out choke. Over here, it's taking out a little bit. Soften, it's also taking out a little bit. So yeah, that's all I do. So let's play the clip again. So as you can see here, it's still not perfect, but let's try to make it perfect because you can still see that harsh transition between the first and second clip. So in order to fix this issue, all you have to do is go to back to the top clip, then go to the end of the clip, then hit the arrow key left, which will go one keyframe to the left, which looks like this. Then you add in scale, which will add in a keyframe over here. Then you go on opacity, add a keyframe over here. Then you hit shift, left twice which will go 10 keyframes to the left one two then go back to the back keyframe then in opacity put it to around 200 and over here you could actually see the grayish area to the sides of the video disappear let's go back to 200 so right now it's disappearing then let's go to opacity, let's make it zero. Then let's see how it looks. And yeah, wow, it looks pretty good. 
and we'll do one more thing. So highlight the first two keyframes, right click, then ease in. Then let's see again. And there you go, that's the whole transition. And yeah, it looks really, really good to me. And if you like this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And share too. Thank you.